Hello, it's uh, Scraggle here from the AGK forums. I've had a couple of private messages asking me how to use my bitmap font creator. So I've put together this video and hopefully that should help anyone that's having any problems. So first thing you need to do is download the script and download the template. Obviously I've already got those. And there's a little bit of code up here as well, which you can just use as a, a test. Now I've got that code and I've placed it in a project. And you can see in the media folder, all I've got in there is the template. So there's nothing in there. So if I run this now, it's going to look pretty ugly. Um, yeah, we've just got this missing images thing. Okay, so you've got your script. If you open that, you'll see at the top here, it tells you where to install it. Um, you'll need to do that with Photoshop closed or reboot Photoshop afterwards. But you don't have to. You can put it anywhere you want. And then it says here where to, how to use it if you just want to browse to it. So we've got our script and let's open our template. There it is, uh, template in Photoshop. Uh, first thing you want to do is change the font. So we need to select all the layers. Um, Control Alt A will do that, or you can go to select all layers. There you go, all layers selected. Now select the text tool and then up here, choose the font we want. I'm just gonna use Coolzill because it's a nice big bold font and it's good for bitmap fonts. So give that a second to whir its way through. There we go. Um, I wouldn't recommend this font because look at the size of the four compared to the five. It's pretty ugly. But if you're just using text, then it's, you know, and without numbers, it's pretty good. Okay, so we've got our font. Next thing we want to do is check, change the style of the font. So select a single layer. I'll use W in this case because it's nice and big. Go down to the layers and double left click just next to the layer name. That opens the layer style window. Um, now you can go into it and change all these things, but I'll just use a pre-made one. So select styles, um, could go nice and metallic there, but I'm gonna go fur, why not? And cheetah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we've got a cheetah bitmap font there. Now, if I right click on W in the layers file down here and click copy layer style, select all the layers again. I'll use the keyboard shortcut this time, Control Alt and A, and then right click again and choose paste layer style. And there we go, we've got a nice, quick, easy bitmap font. <clears throat> so if I save that as a PNG, And there we go, PNG, save. And the next thing you need to do is, you need a sub-images text file. And that's what AGK needs to use it as a bitmap font. And that's what the script's for. So file, scripts. Now, if you've saved it um, where it says in the top of the script and you've rerun Photoshop afterwards, you'll see it exactly where it is in mine. If you haven't, just no problem, just go down to browse Select where you've got the script, it'll run exactly the same, it's no problem. But I've got it installed, so click there. Okay, now it asks you where you want to save it. I'm thinking of changing this. Um, I think it might be easier if it just saved it wherever the PSD was saved. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Anyway, it's asking for a folder, so I'll just go back to my folder and just copy to... There we go, media folder. Give it a couple of seconds to think about that. There we go, exported 94 layers. So if I go back to my folder structure, there's the PNG, looks exactly as we'd expect. And we've got a template sub-image file. And you see it's changed all the layer names to ASCII, which is what we need for AGK bitmap fonts. So if I go back to my project now, run it again. <clears throat> there you go, a nice cheetah bitmap, bitmap font. Um, nice and quick and easy. Obviously you can change the style to whatever you want and run it. Uh, the only other thing I'll say is I've only been able to test it with the latest version of Photoshop. Uh, I've got Creative Cloud 2020. If you've got something older, I think, yeah, it's Virtual Nomad. He was running an ancient version, um, said it didn't work. Now, I've had a couple of tweaks with it. It might work now. So if you're watching Virtual Nomad or anybody else that can't get it to work, um, try it again. Let me know if it works. And also let me know if, um, if you think 
I think it needs changing so that it doesn't ask you where to save it. I think that might be easier. Okay, there you go. Bitmap font creation. Enjoy.